friend. Welcome to the work nation. Our national factory truth and by last. Where we feel free to share knowledge and spread the knowledge of factory truth without fear, without favor, and without faint. How are you doing today? Hope you are living and enjoying your life as you're supposed to. Because it is your life. And you have to live it well. Through the knowledge of factual truth. Not living by faith. Not living by fear. Not living by hearsay. Not living by I guess. Not living by opinions. But by the factual truth. So I title this prisoners of faith. Believers are prisoners of faith. Christians are prisoners of faith. Muslims are prisoners of faith. Jews are prisoners of faith. Every people, every, every people that have certain belief system, they are prisoners of faith. It is unfortunate that Africans today mostly are prisoners of faith. And that's why they cannot see why and how they can liberate themselves and be themselves and stop worshipping a God that does not look like them. Not, and stop expecting a Savior that does not look like them. Because they are prisoners of faith. They lack knowledge. Faith is absence of knowledge. You believe because you don't know. You have faith because you lack knowledge. When you gain knowledge, faith disappears. When you know what to do, believe disappears. So quit believing and start knowing. In this age of information, for you to live by faith means you are living by ignorance. So ignorance is your choice. Although your ancestors were forced, beaten, to accept that ignorance, but now you have the privilege, you have the opportunity, you have every chance to acquire knowledge and free yourself because you have to know the truth for you to be free. You have to know the truth, not you have to believe the truth. You have to know the truth. You say that God is the truth or Jesus is the truth, but you don't know God, you don't know Jesus, you believe. So if God is the truth, you ought to know God. If Jesus is the truth, you ought to know Jesus. But you cannot know God, you cannot know Jesus. And you keep uh, defending that they are invisible. Giving flimsy or stupid, uh, uh, stupid examples or comparing them with objects, saying that it's not everything that is real that is visible. That's nonsense. That, that's old argument. It's no longer now. We have certain technology you can use to see those things they tell you that is invisible. And you see that we have the power to bottle those things, to, 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 to cage those things. But you say they are invisible, but they are useful. So if maybe you cannot see it, but like you don't see the, the, the light in your cable, but when you flip, flip your switch, the light comes on to show you there is power in there. You don't see the power in the cable, but you see how useful it is. But if your God is, is real, why can't God be useful to you? Tell me of what use God is to you. Tell me one. What can God do for you now, if not for after death? All you believe in God is... God is working in a mysterious way. I will, when I die, I will see God. You cannot see God today. If you tell your God is your father, and you cannot see that your father, you are a stupid person to claim such person as your father. 
let's say you are dying you are suffering and your father never show up to help you then someone else help you then you say you are giving glory to your god or to your father it's your father that made it possible for that your father did not send the, that person your father never show up in fact that your, your condition requires your father to show up but you stupidly believe because you're a prisoner of faith saying that your god sent somebody your god used somebody somebody that have not seen your father somebody that don't know your father but you believe your father send that person that's the stupidity of faith and faith is stupid faith makes you a prisoner even a prisoner when you're supposed to be free the door is open for you to be free people of knowledge have opened the door for you to be free you say no i believe i believe there is this i believe there is that excuse me you going out okay you say you believe believe what what useful is of uh, 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 is god for you or jesus tell me you prisoners of faith you that is living by faith tell me what god can do for you or what you can do with god in reality nothing zero no matter how you try to paint it i said it last time show me what god has done for you i will show you how stupid you are show me what jesus has done for you i will show you how stupid you are but why are you remaining in that religion let me give you certain examples let's say you have a, a motorcycle you this motorcycle always have problem and you keep uh, and i mean anytime it has problem you take it to a mechanic store shop and this mechanic has been you know exploiting you taking off you then another mechanic shows up he saw you not even without your motorcycle but he said oh my brother anytime your motorcycle break up i'm expert bring it i will fix it and i will take lower price than that person collecting from you in fact the the first or the the the, the three services i will do for your for your motorcycle it will be free of charge will you continue going to that mechanic that is exploiting you but that's you will say no i will not do that i will not i will be a fool to do that but that's what you are doing in your religion despising every fact ignoring every fact that show you there is no god there's no jesus there's no angel there's no miracle there's no spiritual being anywhere watching over you or hanging around you to punish you or to bless you there is no such being around but you keep believing i believe i believe you have to believe in something no you don't have to believe in something if something is real if go go for the evidence what is the evidence of god existence for you in reality not what you think not what you made up your opinion is bullshit in the presence of fact there is fact they are showing you this person will help you service your motorcycle very well but you say no i'm still going to that person because i'm related to that person although he's exploiting me i am happy for that then at the back you will go complaining to people he's a wicked person he has not done this then why are you continuing in with that person that mechanic think you say you are living by faith with faith all things are possible and you say you are educated you went to school you say you attended um, uh, pre preschool you attended uh, kindergarten you attended uh, primary school uh, high school uh, university or college and yet you are living by faith you believe in the lies of faith can you solve any mathemat any math problem or any mathematics problem they give to you by faith can you do that those of you that know how to solve math apply it in your faith you that say you believe in your faith can you say because you have attended this class so long you know matter what the teacher put on the board i can solve it without looking at it the the, the teacher is writing something on the board he said i'm living by faith you are looking at on your paper and writing whatever you think that's what the teacher is writing can you do that no but that's exactly what you are doing in your faith you think by believing things will work out for you he said nobody knows who tell you nobody knows the one you believe that now okay somebody knows there was a time they say nobody knows that there was a time people believe that a metal cannot float in the water now you have sheep heavy wet sheep floating 
There was a time people believe, oh, Meta cannot fly. Today, you, you enter a, a, in, into a, a Meta in Africa, you find yourself in America, you find yourself in Asia, you find yourself wherever, uh, many places. People, that's how people create a religion out of ignorance. They say, oh, this, this can never be possible. Who said that? Oh, you cannot know all things. Who said that? That's the question you must ask. Who said that? They tell you God said, which God? Show me the God. Oh, you cannot see that God. Then you are lying. I don't care what you are saying. If I cannot see the God that have said it, you are talking bullshit. And if that God cannot show up and tell me himself, you are talking bullshit. I don't need any middle person between me and my God. I don't need any middle person between me and my Father. So why should I say Jehovah is my God or Jesus is my Savior when they cannot show up in my time of need? It is f f foolishness for you to continue believing in God and Jesus when in reality they cannot do anything for you. Stop being a prisoner of faith. You are no longer holding down or being held down with physical chain. You are like a, a, a you know, a, 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 somebody used to, let me use this horse one. A horse, a horse. Stallion, very strong male horse, was tied to a plastic chair. And somebody or sat on it or put heavy load on it. Then the, the, the horse try. Okay, the thing is not letting the horse go. He keep trying, he keep crying. The horse decided to settle with that condition. The person get out of the chair or they remove that heavy load from the chair. The, the, the horse, that thing, the plastic chair, plastic chair, it was, is what is holding this horse down. Why? Because, oh, you know, I've tried before. That's I, that's I, I, I am good, good here. Yeah, it's comfortable here. Yeah. No, it's not comfortable. You are not comfortable in God. You know that. You are not comfortable in faith, you know that. You are not comfortable in Jesus, you know that. You are not comfortable in religion. You know what you go through in your religion. You get up when you don't want to get up. You dress up when you don't want to dress up. You go where you hate to go, where you don't want to go. And they are not even paying you. You are the one still paying them. When you get there, you are still paying them. And you continue doing that. You are a prisoner of faith. It is time you deliver yourself through the knowledge of factual truth. He set me free. It can set you free. You are the one that have the power to do that. Your might. Say whatever your hand find to do, do it with your might. Don't wait for any God. Don't wait for any Jesus. You are the one that will deliver yourself. Stop being prisoner of faith. Liberate yourself. Some of you is nonsense you believe in your village. Nonsense you believe in your family. That is what is keeping you in that prison. You have to deliver yourself. Grow up. How old are you? Are you still a child? Are you still a little baby? Can, why can't you use your own brain and think for yourself? Question everything. Demand for answers. Demand for proof. Tangible evidence. Where is the evidence of existence? Is there God exists. The sky showed there is God. The sky didn't just appear. That's stupidity. And you say that God is alive. That God is real. Okay, so why can't that God show up and say, yeah, it's me? Muslims believe that Allah is the one holding the sky. <laughs> Their God is the one holding the sky. Imagine, God holding the skies. That's why his hand is tied. He cannot come down to help them. So they carry sword and begin to fight for their Allah. Begin to kill people they call infidels. It is time you wake up, my people, especially you Africans. You have been living by blind faith in your spirituality. You have been living by blind faith in your religion. It is time you trust both spirituality and religion to live by, by knowledge. It is time you know. We are no longer living in the age of believing. Oh, just believe. You ask your father a question, he said, just believe. You ask your mother a question, just believe. No, leave them. Leave them. It's in their book also. He says, so a man should leave his father and his mother. It is in the book. But they won't preach that to you. They want you to stay as prisoners as they are. I'm no longer a prison. That's why I left Christianity. That's why I left every belief system. Whether it's African spirituality or foreign religion. All of them are bullshit. All of them are trash to me. But in Kai Yabonkai and in Kemu Bunkem, in Keha Bunkeha. So think about it. Yes, as a people, we have African spirituality, but individually, I don't have. Then foreign religion is there, but 
at least if you're an african why not practice your own african spirituality 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 rather than the foreign religion they are the same bullshit. they cannot benefit you you are the one that will make anything happen there so if you have the power to make things happen make it happen for you okay and live well according